Hey guys, just wanted to do a short video, say that I can officially claim to be in a milliamp club now, so I'm not running any of the generator coils, I'm not rectifying any of the back EMF, I'm just pretty much throwing the EMF away, letting it absorb into the coils naturally like it would. So I've got 22 sets of three for driver coils. They're all in series. There's a few bucking configurations going on. But the current draw on the motor is going to be running at about 45 volts, 46 volts. Amp consumption I've seen some lower numbers If we get lucky in this video We're just going to watch the meter for a minute You might actually get to see it flip the other way Show charge back on the battery So current RPMs are probably less than 60. We'll let it rotate for a minute. We'll do a 5 or 10 second count with the RPMs. Spark gap makes everything. The input voltage makes everything. I'm going to have to go back and look at the Robert Adams stuff again to try to see exactly what he was using for his contacts on his disc. Um, I do believe I remember seeing something about some silver or nickel or something like that from one of the patents. I just wanted to share a video. See, I'm in a milliamp club. 120 pounder. Good chunk of steel. There ain't no torque there. None. Oh, shit. Well, thanks for watching, guys. All I can say is, whoa.